Question, when you make tea, do you put the tea bag in, then make the water and do everything else? But when you're about to put the milk in, do you take the tea bag out then? Or do you take the tea bag out after you put the milk in? Mmm. I'm ready! And I can't wait so we can break apart the hit me if I seem a little unimpressed with this an antisocial pessimist but usually I don't mess with this Anyways, what is going on guys? Today in this video I am going to be teaching you sort of how to make YouTube videos or how I make my YouTube videos if in any way I inspire you to do YouTube videos after you've watched this video, which are very unlikely, please drop a like. If you have any further questions, DM me and um, let's get started. Now, first of all, what I would usually do is I'd get everything out here. I'd get my camera set up, which is my Logitech HD60 webcam. I would get my Elgato thing set up. Everything will be ready for me to start recording. I'd look good, obviously, because I'm a sexy beast. And I would have my controller ready, everything synced up, the audio, and I would start playing games. Depending on what game I would be playing, I'm typically, I'm probably going to base this around my GTA videos, because they usually take the longest to edit. So, yeah, I would play a bit, get used to everything, because, like, I'm very bad at, like, controlling GTA and stuff. So I'd get that all ready, and then I would be ready to start recording. Now, typically, on a GTA video, I would be recording from about 40 minutes to up to an hour and a half. That's usually how long it would be. Sometimes even a bit longer, sometimes a bit shorter, depending on how much time I have, what I've got to do, the topic of what I'm going to be doing in GTA. It's all, like, loads of factors come into play when I'm making GTA videos. But it would then be at that moment that you realise that you forgot to tell your family to shut up and they're screaming downstairs where you're just making the background noise awful. So then you would restart the video, resync everything up, and then you would go and tell your family to shut up. Fuck it right in the pussy! Finally, you would be recording, you would record for however long you want, what you would do, you would just play around, mess around, keep talking to the camera, obviously, keeping your audience interested, which I am very good at. So on a GTA video, typically, what I would do is I would mess around, find something to do on there, because GTA is a huge place, you can do pretty much what you want, it's a very big free roaming game, basically, so I would probably say, I know, fuck it, I'm gonna go and just find a military base and steal a jet, you know, that's typical stuff you know? so you would do that you would like go and steal a jet or something i don't know you would do like a bank heist something you can do races anything you can do really on gta because it's such a like a wide variety of stuff to do on that game so it would be about 20 minutes then you realize wow okay right i need to actually do this now i'm failing loads so you would go and steal your jet you would plan it you would do random cinematic stuff to make it look like something's actually happening then you would go off and do it, you would steal the jet and you would be like ecstatic, you would be like, oh my god, I've just stolen a jet, woo, big, yeah, stuff like that. Then you would realise, holy shit, what do I do now? Classic problems with me in GTA here. So now I would roam around, get five stars on like, I don't know, police, on the police, yes, I mean, you get five stars on it, you would mess around, you do random stuff, and if you die, that's fine, but if you don't die, you see how long you can go before you will eventually die, because you will eventually die. Then you could either try again, you can do as many tries as you want, but obviously because you've got a limited recording time. But depending on how much time you have for editing as well, you would probably keep it around the hour and a half mark. Say it's been about 40 minutes, 45 minutes, then you would go and do something else. You do more random stuff, maybe do a few races, I don't know, and then you would like say goodbye like bye bye then you would click the stop recording button on your audacity your elgato and your webcam software then you would wait for all the files to like export and convert and stuff so you have them to edit and that is your recording done now the hard part right stage two for making youtube videos the editing now the software i use is sony vegas well it's not actually sony vegas anymore it's magic I think Magic's, Magic, something like that. It's Vegas Movie Studio Floor, Floor, Vegas Movie Studio 14 Platinum Edition. So I use that to edit. I really like the editing software. It's basically Sony Vegas, but it just looks a bit different, and it's not as like well known. But it is cheap and it is quite good to use, to be honest. Now, in a GTA video, say your recording is, I'll say it's an hour and 15 minutes, right? We'll say that. 
So we'll make all the things build the peak so everything's ready to edit. We'll add the overlay and the webcam border and we'll get the music, find the music while that's all like processing and stuff onto the software. And then we would start editing. Now typically editing alone, a GTA video on average, wait, let's just do the math here. So on average, it takes me around four hours ish to make a GTA edit look good. And like, that's everything. That's to do everything to get it ready. To, yeah. So I would edit that. I would add cuts to my videos. I would cut out the bits I don't need. All the stutters and mess ups that I do when I'm speaking. All the stuff that's just plainly irrelevant. I would cut out. I would do face close-up things to make like it look a bit funnier do some random stuff depending on what I'm actually doing in the video it, editing could go any way right so a finished editing product typically would look like this so as you see here we have all the cuts and stuff if I just zoom in a bit so you can see what it's more like in fact I'll get rid of the preview screen as well so what we've got is this is the intro here we've got all the clips and stuff we've got a few like like mini clips and stuff there's other stuff in it, there's music, here's the, all the background music that I use, I think I've got, yeah, I've got outro music, my outro, my thumbnail for previous videos, everything is all piled together into, let's see how many frames it is, it is exactly 14,598 frames, which is a lot of frames, but apparently that is what it would be roughly for nearly a four minute video. So after about four, three, three or four hours basically, I would be done editing and everything would be ready for me to export now exporting and rendering stuff on movie studio is it's a little bit more complicated than usual because in the past i've had some trouble with my webcam not being good quality and like it is just it's a bit choppy sometimes but i have found the right like i don't know rendering settings and stuff like that it is a lot better now and usually rendering would take about half an hour ish maybe a little bit more than that i don't know it depends it depends how long the video is really um yeah so but yeah so once i've done rendering during that time i will make a thumbnail so let's go and go on photoshop all right so here i've just got a few thumbnails that i've made so this is my this is a video that i haven't even uploaded yet this is one i made for my friend which i am going to be uploading soon but not right now this is my hang on if i just move these out of the way for a minute this is my new gun game 30 out of 20 default thumbnail which is going to be using for like all my gun game videos these two here are my gta ones so this is the second one i did this is the first one i did obviously i didn't make one for the third because i'm a lazy shit and yes yeah, so thumbnail and yeah, so thumbnails, you fucking cat. But anyway, yeah, so now the rendering should be done and we can get back to making the video. So you've got your editing done, your thumbnail is done, you've made a video, it's exported, it looks really nice. And now the fun bit, uploading it and sharing it to everyone. Until you realize that you've made a mistake that you haven't edited out and then you have to cancel the upload. And yeah. Obviously, because I'm at home only on the weekend, I, up, I schedule my uploads, depending on how many videos I made, usually I make two to three, so if I make two, it'll be one on Sunday, one on a Wednesday, and if I make three, it'll be one on a Sunday, one on a Tuesday, and one on a Thursday, but I am going to be changing that, I think I, if I do three now, I'm going to put it on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and give myself like a weekend break, so um, yeah, I, that's pretty much how I make my videos, to be honest. I really hope you enjoyed. If you stayed around for the whole video, depending on how long this is, I have no idea how long it's going to be. But yeah, if you have stayed around for the whole video, thank you. Drop a like if you want. I'm not forcing you. I'm not one of those YouTubers that go, drop a like, please. But honestly, if you do want to drop a like and you do want to see me do more stuff like this, leave a comment, drop a like, subscribe if you're new. If this is the first video you've ever seen with me, hi, I'm Risks. And also, bye, I've been Risks. And see you in the next one.